Motion in Motion 5. Um, it's actually in the open, but I had a problem finding this, so I thought maybe some of you might have a problem with it. I used to think that the only slow motion you could do was going to the behaviors and doing the retiming and set speed. But that is not it at all. That is terrible. This doesn't work at all. I just actually learned this a couple days ago, so I thought I'd share it. It's really simple. You just select your clip, go to Inspector, Properties, and scroll down, and there's Timing. Uh, it's in that Timing section, so we're going to Show. And then, here it is. Uh, let me cut off the end of this real quick. This is just a shot on my sister's terrible camera when we went shooting at a local place. Um, so, let's do this. You can either just set a duration, like if you want a, not a certain speed rate, uh, but you want it to fill this gap in your movie or something, you just do that. You could put it in reverse. Let's play this. So the shell comes in backwards. Um, that it's real easy. Um, you can select where it comes in and out, and then this regular thing is you can go really fast, of course, like so. Let's play that real quick. <laughs> okay, so I don't you even saw that? That was so fast. Um, and you can go super slow. That is too much. Let's just do that. This isn't too slow, but... So, there you go. You could go even slower, you can go really fast, and that is it. Um, it is obvious, but I'm sure some of you didn't find it like I didn't. So, that is it, guys. Thanks.